A report into childcare costs has suggested low and middle income families receive a boost in subsidies, while high income families will lose taxpayer support. Nine's Lauren Ginoli has more. Making it easier for women to return to the workforce is what the Social Services Minister says is the aim of overhauling childcare. Today, Scott Morrison has released the Productivity Commission's report into the sector, and it's a different side to what we're used to seeing of the former Immigration Minister. Uh, he's visited a Kinderoo's daycare centre in Sydney. There, he's been reading to children, making mud pies, and talking to some of the mothers who send their kids to this centre. Now, at the heart of this report's recommendation is a single means tested subsidy. For families earning less than $60,000, 85% of their childcare costs would be covered, while those on incomes of more than $250,000 would receive 20%. There needs to be a very significant simplification of the process. It is very cumbersome. It is, it is very hard to understand. If we want to give Australian families a fair go, uh, we've got to give mothers in particular a real choice to have a family and be in the workforce. The report recommends the subsidy covers long day care, uh, day care outside of school hours and also home based care including nannies. The report also suggests uh, allowing au pairs to work for their full 12 month visa rather than the current six months. Educators across the country are excited and nervous uh, about what is uh, going to happen in the next couple of weeks and months in terms of an announcement from government in response to the Productivity Commission report. Labor will approach this report uh, with a constructive view in mind. We're interested in affordability, we're interested in accessibility. This report is not government policy. It's a report that's been given to the government, but it will help shape their new families package, which we are expecting to see in the coming weeks.